fire chief or not. Confusion tonight over the Black Forest fire chief's position. Yeah, the fire board says he turned in his keys and equipment, cleared out his office, told others in the community that he is not the fire chief anymore. The board took that as a resignation. But his family says, on social media anyway, he has not resigned. KRDO News Channel 13 first broke this story this afternoon. Emily Allen joins us live outside the Black Forest Fire Station. James and Heather, we've been trying to get in touch with a human resources expert tonight to see if Harvey's actions qualify as a resignation. The Black Forest Fire Board feels that those actions do qualify as a resignation. However, his family says it doesn't. The nameplate next to his office is empty, and his LinkedIn profile says he stopped working at the fire district in July. Yet Fire Chief Bob Harvey's family writes on Facebook he hasn't resigned. Fire board members like PJ Langmaid think he's out. I do know for a fact that he came in and dropped off his stuff um, and picked up his personal belongings. Um, I think that's a pretty clear indication of what his intentions are. El Paso County Sheriff Terry Makita accused Harvey of mishandling the Black Forest fire. Then, Harvey turned in this letter to the Black Forest Fire Board two months ago. It said he had post traumatic stress disorder from the Black Forest fire and a hostile work environment. The Black Forest Fire Board says since Chief Harvey walked out this door after turning in his letter at that special meeting in June, there has been almost zero communication between the Fire Board and Chief Harvey. After we first reported Harvey told the board he had PTSD, his wife sent us an email saying our reports were false. We asked her for clarification and didn't get a response. We tried to contact Harvey today, and like the Black Forest Fire Board, we haven't gotten a response to clear the air. Langmaid says the Black Forest Fire Board was planning on addressing the issue of Harvey leaving his position at the upcoming board meeting. However, after we broke this story today, they did have to address this. The board also says it's committed to providing the best possible emergency services and will be working to find a replacement. In Black Forest, Emily Allen Carrio, News Channel 13. Thanks, Emily. And as she mentioned, this